The Radio Master Boxer is easily the hottest radio out on the market right now. Full size gimbals for only $140, Express LRS 1 watt included inside, full size module bay, and gigantic battery bay. But one thing that it doesn't have out of the box is Hall Sensor CNC AG01 gimbals. So we're going to show you how to install these today. I'll have links to where you can buy the radio and these upgraded gimbals below. Now, first off, let me say that this Gen 4 gimbal that it ships with is actually really, really good. It's one of the better gimbals that we've ever had. In fact, this front part is actually CNC right there, so it's a lot better than the ones that used to come in the past, but this middle part is plastic, so it could be better. We could have the whole thing CNC. You hear that little metal click? That's the quality right there, and we're gonna upgrade to it. And it's not just this front part. All the little pieces in back of here are CNC. Of course, there's a few little bits of plastic, but very impressive. So in order to do this modification, first thing we're gonna do is take out the battery and we're gonna take out the module. Now to get the base plate off, you're gonna wanna remove one, two, then you're gonna take these rubber covers over to the side. There's gonna be another third and a fourth one here. Now these are just regular type screws. So we're just gonna use a regular screwdriver like this. And I'm just gonna use this as my little tray to put my screws so I don't lose them. And this one here. Once you have those four off, the two things should just separate. There's a little sticker right here that's kind of holding it. So peel that back just a little. Now it'll come, pull it straight up so that you don't mess up these pins for the module bay. And now you can see the inside of the radio. Here's the main board right here with the little battery that helps you retain settings. And we're gonna go ahead and remove both of these. Now, in case you get this mixed up, the little ends, they're gonna be on the outside, right? So we can unplug these connectors. And you can see there's a similar connector on the AG01. That's what's gonna go plug in. We're gonna do the left side first, and it's gonna be four screws. One, two, three, four. Once you have the four screws removed, this pulls up straight up and it comes out just like that. So we're gonna put our left stick over here on this side. Keep in mind as you're doing this that you wanna have the left side to be the throttle. And then you just do the reverse, put the screws back in there. Now to make it a little easier, sometimes I hold this like that and put it in sideways, but you can see that didn't work. So I have these handy little tweezers, I'm just gonna fish that back out. Sometimes you can also line it up with the tweezers. This can be a little fiddly to get them back in, but one thing that I sometimes do is point the screw up and put the radio slightly above so that it stays in there and then just line it up. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing right there, but once you got it lined up like that, then you can start screwing it in. It's labeled right here, stick over here. So I'm gonna just take this and plug it in like that. The two little tabs on the top, you can see the two little holes on the connector and then you just put it in. Now I'm gonna just tuck these wires out of the way like that. Now, before you st install everything, you kind of want to move the stick and make sure that you don't have anything impeding you. So now we're halfway there. Let's keep going. Now, one thing you may notice as I'm working is I'm putting the ones for the back in the middle, putting the ones for the right side on the right side, and the ones for the left side on the left side. They all seem like they're the same size, so it probably doesn't matter, but it's just a good scope of practice as you're disassembling and reassembling and putting things together to kind of put your screws in a slightly different place so that when you're putting everything back together, you know exactly where they go. We really don't ever want to have is the dreaded leftover screws that you don't know what they go to. Putting in the new AGO ones, there's a circle, a circle, a slot, a slot. For the circle ones, what you can do is actually put the screw in ahead of time and drop it in and that'll help you get everything lined up perfectly. Then you have your screws here and you just line it up as you slide it in. Remember that these metal things go on the outside for both sides. And of course, remember that you have 
your throttle on the correct side, which is gonna be your left side if you're looking at it, but if you're looking at the back, it's gonna be the right side. And you just zoom in. All right, once you have the last one in, just wanna make sure you did those right. Throttle's on this side and your other stick is on this side. Looks good. Now we're ready to put the back back on. Now you're gonna to wanna to plug it in. The newer boards are labeled very nicely. So you can see this is stick left, stick right. So we're just gonna plug that in here. Then we're gonna kind of just stick the wires out of the way a bit. Just for comparison, this is the Gen 1 TX16S. You can see how busy it is. It's not labeled as cleanly. So this one is very clear where everything goes. And we're just gonna do the reverse. We got our four screws that we've been keeping over here. Go ahead and slide the back plate on carefully, not to mess up these pins right here. Make sure that everything lines up and everything is sealed. Then we're gonna put these four screws back in. One time. Remember, it's just these bottom two right here. These grip ones are for adjusting other things. Now we're gonna put the battery back in. Speaking of, this 6200 mAh battery is gonna give you the longest life. This will work for the TX16S or the Boxer. And I highly, highly recommend getting this. If you don't really like to have to charge your radio for every session, um, the Boxer is gonna have the longest battery life of all the radios because it does not have that big color touch screen, which personally I don't think that you need. So that in combination with this giant battery is gonna last almost forever. We can put our ghost module back in there and then we can put our hand grips back in as well. They go in just like that. Some little tabs on the back. Make sure the side is pushed in and lined up. Now we're ready to select our stick ins that we're gonna use. I have a plethora of these right here. I've tried everything out on the market. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna match what I'm doing on my TX16S and use this hybrid pinch in that Mambo designed for us over at 533. This is what I like to call the Johnny Five stick input, is what I like to call it. And I'm just gonna put a nut on there and just circle this on. Now, whenever I get this one, this one is actually directional. So I want this finger slot to be lined up like this. And then on this side, I like to use blue with gold on the bottom. That's just what I like to do, personal preference. All these are really great. I've tested so many stick-ins till I got what I like to use. One other step that I'm actually gonna do is make sure that I have the stick height about the same as what I like to do over here. So the stick height on the left stick is perfect, but I can see right here that the stick light on my right stick is way too low. So I'm gonna raise that. I actually have it right about equal on this radio. That's just a preference that you learn over time. I've done quite a bit of tweaking on that radio. And now that I seem to be using the Boxer just as much or more, just because it is very portable, now my stick muscle memory should be just about right. Last thing that you're gonna wanna do after you perform this modification is you're gonna wanna, is you're gonna wanna go in here and calibrate the radio sticks. First thing I'm gonna do is push the system menu. We're gonna page over all the way till we get to hardware and select the calibration option. And I'm just gonna hit enter, stick midpoint, enter. And we're gonna move everything around. I'm gonna move it in a circle and I'm gonna move it corner to corner. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, corner to corner. Then I'm gonna move the pots up all the way up, all the way down. Then I'm gonna move this six position switch all the way up. Then I'm gonna hit enter when done. And now we are calibrated. Now you're ready to go and enjoy your new CNC metal AG01 gimbals on your Boxer radio. They don't sell a combination with this right now, so you're gonna have to do this. If you have the Express LRS version, the Boxer itself is 140, and if you buy these sticks like this, they are 140. What I really, really like is that I don't have my muscle memory disturbed. It's exactly the same distance where my thumb sits. It's exactly the same grip, about the same distance to the top, so your 
your fingers up here sit the same. The really the only difference is your back fingers are a little bit closer to your hand here and a little bit farther to your hand here with this grip. But both of these feel really, really good. And I like the fact that if I'm going on a trip, I can use the boxer because it doesn't take as much room in a bag. If I'm gonna be flying at a race locally or driving to a race, I can bring my custom one and I don't have to worry about which one's going to perform better, especially now that they both have the upgraded gimbals. Thanks guys.